Hi, in this video I want to show you two math books that are awesome. So the first one I want to talk about is a book on ordinary differential equations. It's called Ordinary Differential Equations with Applications and it was written by Larry C. Andrews. So to read a book like this you should know some calculus and you're going to want to know how to perform you know, integration. You want to know how to integrate fairly well uh, mostly basic techniques, maybe some partial fractions, um, integration by parts, some u substitutions. T those types of things come up a lot. And as you learn the material, um, so if you've forgotten some of those things and you're thinking, maybe I'm not ready for a book like this, when you learn the material, you review it as you go through. So you get better you know, at calculus when you study differential equations. You know, I, I remember learning what the integral of secant cubed was in a differential equations class. I remember seeing it for the first time and thinking, wow. Um, that integral, by the way, is so famous, it has its own Wikipedia entry. <laughs> so, like, it's on Wikipedia. <laughs> it's an integral, has its own entry, which is pretty amazing. So this book covers everything you would cover, like if you went to college and took a differential equations course, um, this book would have everything in it. Also, um, the layout of this book is very, very modern. Uh, this book is older. Let me just check the date on this one. This is Larry C. Andrews is the author. Yeah, 1982 is the copyright on this book, so it's an older book. But the contents are, are, are very, very similar to, oh, it smells good. The contents are very similar to what you see in modern books like um, the, the book by you know, Nagel or um, the book by Zill. So, Excellent book. It has answers to the odd-numbered problems. Uh, I would say the only con of this book is uh, I have found some typos in the book. Um, I've spent some time, not like tons of time, but some time with the book. I've done quite a few of the exercises. One thing I really like about this book is that it has a really clean explanation of Euler's method, which is a method for, uh, it's a numerical method uh, for differential equations. And I thought the explanation in this book was, was very good. So kind of a random specific thing that, <laughs> but that's something that I really liked about this book. I also like that it follows um, other modern books. So like if you want extra exercises or practice problems, you can, you can get exercises from this or ideas from this. So it's kind of nice. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to this book if you want to check it out. I do like this book. I think it's very well written and it's very much so written for beginners. So uh, Larry Andrews did a really good job trying to make it simple. The other book I want to show you is actually free. So you might say, well, why is it free if you have it in your hand? Well, that's because this book, you can download it for free. And I downloaded it, and I've had it, and I've looked at it. I've read some sections. I've done probably like 15 or 20 problems from this book. Um, and it's a fun book. It's got fun little problems, uh, fun little proofs. It's good for learning to write proofs. It's called Book of Proof, and it was written by Richard Hammack. So this is a really interesting book because I kind of feel like anyone can pick up this book and start learning, I don't want to say real mathematics, but mathematics. So I start learning how to write proofs. You start with logic and sets. Um, you learn the structure of mathematics and you learn how to prove things. Once you learn how to prove things in mathematics, um, the more proofs you do, um, the better you get and your mathematics just grows and becomes stronger. So. Book of Proof. I like how he just calls it Book of Proof. Not the Book of Proof. It's just Book of Proof. So I bought this. I bought this because I wanted to have a physical copy of this book even though it's free. So I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to buy it. And I'll also leave the link in case you want to just like download it and look at it. But it's very much so written for beginners. Um, people might ask, is this the best book for learning to write proofs? There's a lot of really good books for learning to write proofs. You know? So when you're trying to pick the best one, I say buy as many as you can afford. Um, sometimes you can get them used, and this one's free, so you have to buy it. So you already have it, right? So, so yeah, um, great book for learning to write proofs. And you know, proofs are important in mathematics. One of the things that, that you get from you know, studying mathematics is that you become very, very good at writing proofs, right? So um, the more math you, know, you take and the more proofs you write, um, the better you become. And you become really good. And you know, if you go to college and get a math degree after those four years, that's one of the things that 
that you come out with, right? You come out with that proof writing strength. And this book is an entire book on that. So to me, that makes them, makes it extra special, extra cool. It also has different subjects in it because it's a book of proof. Oh, I said a book of proof. Um, it's going to have you know, different types of proofs from different areas of math. And that's one of the fun things about getting other books on proof writing too is because some books on proof writing will cover like group theory and some will cover advanced calculus and some will cover something else, right? So some will cover combinatorial proofs, some won't. So you get uh, different exposure, but yeah, anyways, those are, those are two books which I think are excellent. Um, again, the prereq for this one, for the differential equations book, um, is knowing some calculus, knowing how to integrate. Uh, if you're in the U.S., so that would be the equivalent of taking like a Calculus two class. That would, that would um, make you ready for this, right? So some Calc two, And this one, just the desire to learn, right? That's what I love about this book. Plus, it's free, right? Let's finish this video by taking a quick look at the contents of these books so you can see what they actually contain. Um, let's start with the differential equations book. And you're going to see that if you have already studied differential equations, you'll notice a lot of the content is familiar. Basic concepts, so classification of DEs, general solutions, initial and boundary value problems, and then solution techniques for first order equations. It's interesting because I, I've never used this book to teach a class, but these, a lot of these things are things that I discuss uh, at the beginning of teaching a differential equations course when I've taught the course. So, um, interesting, interesting. And it's an older book, right? This is a book from 82. Solution techniques for first order equations. This is really important uh, if you're gonna go further in mathematics, like if you're gonna study partial differential equations, you want to know all of these techniques because you can apply them to the PDEs, which are partial differential equations, to solve those. Applications of first order equations, cool. Free falling bodies. Growth and decay problems, those are fun. Linear equations of higher order. Applications involving initial value problems. Oh yeah, the damped and undamped motion. The Laplace transform systems of equations. Method of Laplace transforms, nice. Very nice, got a lot of stuff in it, right? a lot of mathematics. Numerical methods, there's the Euler method I was uh, mentioning earlier. And he's got a couple more, the improved Euler, the runge Cuda, the power series method, yeah. And then he has answers to odd numbered problems. So yeah, the only negative of this book is I, I did find some typos, but like I think it was like two, two little typos in the book and I was like, oh. Like it was just like they forgot like a variable. You know, it's, it's pretty clear what the typo is. It's pretty innocent, so yeah, awesome book. This one is free, okay, this book is free, and you can buy it, obviously I bought it because I have the physical copy. Book of Proof, Richard Hammack. Let's take a look at the contents. This is perfect for anyone who wants to go further in math, like if you want to learn like harder math, like if you want to take harder math classes, like beyond calculus and stuff, you gotta learn this stuff. Once you learn this stuff, you're invincible and you get to practice this stuff in every class you take because you practice proof writing when you take math classes. So it's, this is just a book on that which makes it even cool, cooler. Logic, sets and logic, yeah, accounting, good places to start. Direct proof, contrapositive proof, proof by contradiction, more on proof. Yeah, and the proofs are fairly well, I mean, they're, they're very well written, right? The proofs are very well written. Um, that's what makes this book so good. Right? It's that it's a good book and it has solutions. Look at the solutions, uh, page 240. Wow, look at that. It's a lot of solutions, right? It's a lot of answers. I'm getting a lot of the answers there. Look at that. Full proofs. So, perfect for self study. I just got to give it a whiff. Sorry, just, ah, uh, yeah, awesome books. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and they're both great books. Until next time, good luck, take care.